Welcome back to my channel. This is Yummy Brand of Yummy Curl Shellogy, and it's been a while since I do this kind of video. It's been a while since I actually upload something on my channel. So today I'm gonna start my well second quarter of the year. So second quarter of the year with something really exciting or new here if you don't know me yet I am Yomi and I run this channel called Yomi Crochetology and it's all about crochet styling our crochet pieces making crochet tutorials and patterns so don't forget to hit subscribe to the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up so let's head to the video today I receive hobbies parcel um, a Danish yarn company if you haven't heard of them yet you can definitely check their website in my description box a one-stop store for crafters yarn lovers yarn addicts. anyone who loves yarns whether you're a knitter you're a crochet hobby is a website for you to check Visit the link in the description box below and it will take you to their website. So today we will unbox the most exciting parcel that they sent me. This one is their new yarn that they released in their website. So it's new. Mm, I like new. <laughs> new lines of yarns that they are letting us try if what are our thoughts about this new yarn what can we say about this new yarn are they squishy enough are they soft enough is there more colors in that line of yarn sometimes one of the things that crafters or crocheters um, look into the yarns is not just the quality it's also the color availability of the ranges of the yarn so now we will unbox and we will see if these new ranges of yarns that Hobby release has more colors that we would like to add into our stash. So, I have here the giant bag. If you are new to Hobby or you haven't ordered to Hobby yet, um, they are a Danish company and they have a huge range of yarns that you can pick. Get your hands on to pretty much the best yarns you can get in the market. They usually send their parcel something like this. Okay, so the parcel has a name Hobby here that says you can follow us on Instagram, you can use a hashtag um, shout out with Hobby or the Hobby unboxing hashtag is actually a hashtag that you can use that join their um, giveaways it's a monthly giveaways once you open your parcel hashtag and hobby unboxing and they will pick winners among those um who posted a unboxing video or post using the hashtag so you can definitely try that and who knows you might win 20 skeins of cotton it depends yeah so we'll just have to be very careful because it's a thread oh so this is what i've got from hobby okay so we will start with what they call pearly haze yarn so it is it looks like this it's in like skein slash ball this ranges of yarn is more into pastels okay so these are the colors that i picked for these ranges of yarn that called pearly haze and then they are into the pastel side of the color palettes so they're very pale contrasting colors and they are metallic okay their blue is metallic pale blue and I believe this one is a mauve and this one is a light purple pink and then the darker purple okay so these are the colors that I have so I'll show you guys one by one the color that I pick we'll start taking a look closer look of each of the yarn or the colors so this range is called the pearly haze okay, so this one is called the pearly haze that's the name of the yarn that they release and it has a nice pearl um logo at the top plum shell and a pearl on the top and then the hobby logo okay it says hobby this is the shade that i picked okay and then it's very squishy, it's very nice, it's very soft, and it's metallic, okay? And this color is called the Black Cherry, okay? So the color is Black Cherry, 
and this is what it looks like it's very soft it's very soft and it's metallic okay metallic in the past pastels colors okay and then at the back of the card like this one here is where you get the information about the yarn so it's wound around the yarn and that's where the information is so i if you can't see it properly i'll read it to you this is medium weight or category 4 yarn this is 100 meter per skin 50 gram 100 meter or at 20 120 yards okay and the recommended size is around six millimeter crochet hook okay so this is what it looks like these strings is actually looks like this and the string actually looks like this let's see if you can focus that so the string looks like this it's like a tape it's very beautiful like that. okay so this is the pearly haze in black cherry shade how pretty is that so i've got five of this and then this is perfect for a scarves, um, a cardigan, because this is very soft. It's made of 73% viscous and 27 wool. So you can already imagine that this is warm and a perfect yarn to use for a scarf, a beanie. Not only it's very pretty, it's very shiny, it's very soft. And it is very beautiful. The color that they have in the website is very pretty. They're all really feminine and really um, soft, muted colors, but shiny. So it's viscous and wool. So you can already imagine how warm this will be this winter and how pretty this will be for your next scarf projects or beanies. So this is the black cherry color. You can definitely check this one out in the website i will link the description the first color i have in the range pearly haze okay so this one the second color is still pearly haze range again it's made of viscous and has a shiny effect because of the viscous it is very elegant it's very soft as you can see it has a lightness on it it's perfect for that scarf project that you're hoping to make this winter it's very light and fluffy at the same time and also the shiny effect is very pretty it is untie peeling yarn okay so again this is a 50 gram per skin with a hundred and 10 meter is the shade of blue and it's called open sea in the website so again this is still pearly haze and in the shade of open sea how beautiful that name is it's still pearly haze yarn and it is in the shade of open sea so it's muted blue but it's very shiny again it's made of viscous and 20 percent wool very light very soft and it's resistant to peeling okay so that's the third shade that i pick for this campaign it's very pretty it's open sea blue okay again i will link them in the description box below for you to grab your very own pearly haze in the shade of blue they called open sea this shade of pink is called pearly haze in the shade of wild berry oh my it is very beautifully wild again it's very soft it's very squishy and then the reason that i have so many of each of the colors is i'm hoping to make it into a trench coat but inspired by chanel so it will be needing a lot of color but in the same palette you know what i mean like it should be in the same palette so it will become a trench coat and a scarf so that's what i'm planning to make all this beautiful perfect yarn for that kind of project because it's also made of 23 percent wool which is gives you warm 
and comfort during winter and at the same time the elegance of the viscous which is also giving it a shiny effect in the structure of the yarn is just beautiful so stay tuned for that for the scarf and the trench coat and it's called the charcoal okay so it should be it's not it's not really black it's more on into the gray side of the color palette so it's gray and it's called charcoal okay again it's still pearly haze the pearly haze range of yarn and it is charcoal shade it's very beautiful i can't believe how beautiful this yarn is it's very soft like you know you can tell it's softness and it's it's just very pretty it's not and if, if you compare it with the one i'm wearing it's shiny like this is also hobby this is the 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 giant one what's this called um the acrylic mega ball so this one is the acrylic mega ball and if you were to compare the two yarns um this is very shiny okay so yes it's amazingly beautiful this yarn and so it's a misty violet so this is lighter shade of purple compared to the aster the ones that we've got before so i'm gonna grab the aster so aster is a lot darker compared to the misty violet so this is the aster this is the misty violet so you can see the difference this is darker this is a lot lighter but they have equally beautiful shiny tone again this is the pearly haze yarn this is made of viscous and wool so again i i will make it into a trench coat or any like a cardigan or trench coat something that i can wear this winter and it has to have a tweed effect on them that's why i kind of pick a color that is close to each other so this is the aster and this is the misty violet As you can see they're very close shade colors so now i will show you the second one that i picked which is the honey bunny um sparkle so i pick i pick honey bunny sparkle in the shade of brown okay I used the honey bunny before the ones that they already have in their website and that was non-sparkle so this one is the honey bunny and it is a non-sparkle one and again and they released this honey bunny sparkle or honey bunny shine sorry that's how they call it honey bunny shine so this one is already existing in the website again i will link it in the description box below if you are more interested of the honey bunny which is non-sparkle or this is the non-shine honey bunny and that's what it looks like that is already existing in the website so this is the first in line okay this is the original it has no sparkle and it is made of a hundred percent polyester it is 100 gram 120 meter so per skin is 120 meter or 131 yards and this is super bulky yarn so i've used this one and it's so beautiful i'll show you a picture of me of the project that i use for this one it is a corset it is a corset and i'm gonna release a written pattern soon and it's sturdy it does not um, break easily compared to the other um, like a velvet yarn that you've used this is very beautiful honey bunny I love this honey bunny they are releasing another honey bunny and this time is shine <laughs> I really grabbed myself a honey bunny shine in the shades of brown because I'm gonna make it again into a corset the ones that I'm talking about when I'm gonna release it sooner maybe next week sometime next week so I'm gonna use this honey bunny shine which is very perfect for a beautiful chunky corset you think so and again this is um made of 100 percent polyester and it is 120 meter per ball or 131 yards and this is super bulky or category um yarn weight six okay and that's the shade that i pick it is it is kind of like reddish brown so it's brown and if you guys can see the sparkle it's existing 
see. I'll put this side by side, but the original, original one. Original one don't really have the sparkles. This one have the sparkles in them. See that? So yes, this is the original one in the website right now. I've used this so much already. I've got five of them. Hobby sent me five of this and this is what's left. <laughs> so yeah, this is the, the original one, the first one in line. And this is the new release, which is the shine. It has a shine. You can see. Yeah. So this one is non shine, honey bunny. This one is the, is the shine bunny. So that's all the yarn that I've got. Um, I've got the two kinds of yarns that they released. Buddy Buddy Shine and the Pearly Hay. So these are the two yarns that they released, newly released in their website. So if you guys are keen to get your hands on this beauties, you can definitely check in my description box below for the website. So you can just explore and have a shop and treat yourself. Also, don't forget to check the Hobby app they have this bingo going on every Tuesday. It is Tuesday here in Australia. Tuesday or Monday, um, wherever you are, we're probably Monday in your side of the world. But in my case, in Australia, it's actually Tuesday, 1 a.m. in the morning. And you can definitely check that out. They are always having this fun thing bingo games going on that you can just leave your phone and let it go like keep the bingo going on and who knows you will win the prize of that game that's all for today thank you so much for staying with me i hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and also don't forget to check out some of my tutorials in the card above or in the description box below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you like my content and you like the patterns and tutorials that you see every day, not every day, <laughs> in my channel, so don't forget to support my channel so I can keep going and keep doing this kind of content. Thank you so much and I hope to see you again sometime next week and goodbye. Yeah.